I'm Dr. Mark Shackleton and I'm the group leader of the Melanoma Research Laboratory and a medical oncologist in the Melanoma Clinic at the Peter Mac Cancer Centre. The Vesky Fellowship will be primarily uh, there to support my research. Um, I've uh, been fortunate enough to make some exciting discoveries and breakthroughs in the area of melanoma biology uh, during my work overseas in the US. And the Vesky Fellowship really enables me to continue that work back here in Melbourne. What we've done is discovered, uh, in, uh, contrary to popular belief, is that in fact a very high proportion of melanoma cells uh, harbours the intrinsic potential to uh, propagate disease within patients. So this is really important. Previously it was thought that only a very small fraction of cells was in fact able to do that. Therefore, if we're going to design effective treatments, we need to keep in mind the fact that we have to target a large number of cells within melanomas. I think it's a wonderful award. Um, it really is one of those um, factors that makes it possible for Australia to reclaim high flyers like Mark Shackleton. Mark really is uh, multiply talented. Uh, he's one of those rare people who's both a clinician and a highly talented researcher. Okay, I guess you could stand up, Bruce. Sure, thanks. So just turn around for me. He was trained here in, in Melbourne as a, uh, as a uh, medical oncologist, uh, has a wonderful PhD and a terrific research pedigree, and really, uh, when he went to the University of Michigan, achieved a lot there as well and could have essentially picked virtually any lab or any job that he would have wanted within the uh, United States or even Europe. So it was things like Vesky that were able to bring him back to Victoria to enable Victoria to capture one of the very best and brightest clinician researchers who are just so important to the future of cancer research uh, in this country. It's fair to say that I did have uh, uh, options with respect to where I, could, uh, where I could continue my research. Fundamentally, I was looking for, really looking for the environment that I thought would best support that research. Um, and uh, you know, after sort of fairly close consideration, I really decided that Peter Mac was the place. Here at Peter Mac, uh, we have the largest melanoma clinic in the state, um, and we see more patients with, with this disease than any other centre in Victoria. Just sit there relaxed, just nice into your chest. So this really presents a fantastic opportunity for me to see and talk to and treat patients that, that are directly affected by the disease that is the focus of my research. So I mean, I can listen to patients and hear what their problems are and then come back to the lab and try and figure out ways that we can overcome them. From Peter Mack's viewpoint, and particularly from the viewpoint of the research division, the power of bringing Mark back is that it adds tremendous synergy and capacity to our, uh, to our effort in the melanoma area already. Chris, I'm just going to look at the skin around your scar, okay? It's been wonderful to come back to my hometown. This was always the place that I hoped I'd be able to continue my career, but it was always primarily important to me that I was able to continue to do the work that I wanted to do. And so the, uh, the position that I've uh, come back to uh, here at Peter Mac um, with the support of the Vesky Fellowship um, has, really, uh, has really enabled me to do that.